Привет, друзья! Today Dostoevsky, right here, will teach us something in Russian. And Dostoevsky, you might already know him from Crime and Punishment, from the Brothers Karamazovs, and maybe some other writings of him. He's a great author. We as Russians consider him one of the best authors that Russia has ever produced. But when I travel to other countries too, I've realized that many people know Dostoevsky, which was a great surprise to me because... Sometimes with the translation from Russian to other languages, the meaning gets lost. But I guess not with Dostoevsky. Today, let's take a small paragraph from White Knights, one of his writings as well. This text won't contain a lot of difficult words. They'll be pretty simple, even for beginners sometimes. But we will learn how to use Russian language the same way as Dostoevsky does. A master of Russian language, of course. So let's learn from the best. Let's read it first and then read it sentence by sentence, breaking down the most crucial parts of it. Let's get right into this. Я пришел назад в город очень поздно. Уже пробило 10 часов, когда я стал подходить к квартире. Дорога моя шла по набережной канала, на которой в этот час не встретишь живой души. Правда... Я живу в отдаленнейшей части города. Я шел и пел, потому что, когда я счастлив, я непременно мурлыкаю что-нибудь про себя. Как и всякий счастливый человек, у которого нет ни друзей, ни добрых знакомых, и которому в радостную минуту не с кем разделить свою радость. Вдруг со мной случилось самое неожиданное приключение. A very short paragraph, but there's a lot of useful things in it. So, first sentence. Я пришел назад в город очень поздно. I came back to the city very late. So, я пришел, I came, I arrived. This пришел, pre will have a meaning of arrival as a prefix. And шел means just simply walked. Walked plus arrived, I got to the city. Назад means back. So, he went somewhere and then he returned. So, назад means back. В город means into the city. В can mean in the city or into the city. Очень поздно, great two words. Очень поздно, very late. И уже пробило 10 часов. And it already struck 10 o'clock. Пробило means struck. And of course, he is talking about when the clock strikes 10. Уже here means already. And 10 часов, 10 hours or 10 o'clock. Когда я стал подходить к квартире. When I started or when I was coming up to the apartment. When I began to approach my apartment. Когда means when. Я стал подходить. I started to approach. Подходить. This pot as a prefix means to approach a certain place. And квартире means to the apartment. And notice how I read this. К квартире. I don't say к квартире. We kind of make this k as a double length sound. Квартире. Квартире, like that. So it's a bit more enunciated when they're doubled. Дорога моя шла по набережной канала. My road or my, my path went down, went along the bank of the canal. So дорога моя, my road or my path, шла, went, or was kind of on, по набережной канала. On the bank of the canal or the embankment of the canal. So here he is walking down this embankment with the river next to him and all of that. So he is walking down that embankment. На который в этот час не встретишь живой души. Where at that hour you would not meet a living soul. На который on which. So he is further describing the embankment on which в этот час at this hour. В at at this час hour or at this time не встретишь you cannot meet or you won't meet this word встретишь is conjugated to ты so whenever we simply say a hypothetical thing you won't meet or nobody will meet we conjugate it to second person singular не встретишь you won't meet живой души a living soul живой means alive or living души means soul правда to be honest or indeed Я живу в отдаленнейшей части города. Я живу, I live, в отдаленнейшей, in the most, in the furthest, or the most remote части, part, 
города Сирии. So, indeed, or to be honest, I live in the furthest part of the city. Я шел и пел. I was walking and I was singing. Потому что, because, когда я счастлив, when I'm happy, когда, of course, again is when, я счастлив, I'm happy. And these first two letters, S, Ч, I don't read them as счастлив. We say счастлив, like that. Я непременно мурлыкаю что-нибудь про себя. I always hum something under my breath or something to myself. Непременно, always, all the time. Мурлыкаю can be to hum, but also can be when a cat meows. That can also be мурлыкаю, okay? But for now, of course, it means to sing, to hum something. Что-нибудь means something. Now, что-нибудь is something when it's anything, really. Про себя means under my breath or to myself. Как и всякий счастливый человек, as any happy person, у которого нет ни друзей, who doesn't have neither friends, ни друзей, neither friends, ни добрых знакомых, nor kind of kind acquaintances, и которому в радостную минуту, and who in a happy minute, не с кем разделить свою радость, doesn't have anybody to share his happiness with. Не с кем means doesn't have no anyone, doesn't have a person, не с кем. It's like, мне не с кем гулять, I don't have anybody to go for a walk with. Не с кем means not have somebody to do something with, okay? And lastly, it's a cliffhanger. Вдруг со мной случилось самое неожиданное приключение. And suddenly, the most unexpected adventure happened to me. Вдруг here means... Suddenly, со мной means with me, со мной случилось, in fact, happened to me. Самое is the most неожиданное, un- unpredictable, unexpected, приключение, adventure. And that is all. There's a lot of great words here that we have highlighted. But most importantly, notice how he connects kind of long parts of a sentence with different words like когда... Потому что and который. These three words he used a whole lot to connect different parts of a sentence to make it one holistic sentence. And that is all. That's all from Dostoevsky. I hope that you can read his writing someday. And if this content is right, what you need for your Russian, check out our Be Fluent Camp with this button right here. We have an advanced course where we learn through practice. We learn through reading, through literature, through poetry as well. So check it out with this button right here and keep on watching our YouTube videos with this next one. It's up to you.